18 January 1982, Ministry adopted the first resolution regarding to the construction of an atomic plant in Janowiec, Poland. Two months later, the official tearing was submitted to the principle of a construction. Since then, work moved forward in a full swing. Henceforth, the process of a local resettlement started, as it turned out, vainly. Chernobyl disaster that rocked the whole world in 1986 clearly determined the fate of an atomic plant in Chernobyl. Rising amounts of social protests against such a project forced the government to give up early started construction. In 2009, proxy for the nuclear energetics, Hanna Trojanovska, announced that the forgotten city of Chernobyl had visible advantage over other possible locations of the atomic construction. One year later, mysterious place from the past won the rank of the location of power plant. Today, almost three years from the official provision, we don't know anything except the planned cost of 10 billion euros. The project I've been working on since June 2012 won't change the view of the people definitely returning against such enterprise. From my perspective, it should be a rational concept that may undergo the assessment of people and experts from the energy sector. I belong, unfortunately, to the narrow group of people in our country who see a similar project through the prism of possible economic and environmental consequences and pure knowledge, instead of promoted opinions and mindless social ratings. The consequences of the Chernobyl still cast a shadow on today's society, especially in northern Poland. But hardly anyone knows that outdated mechanisms and human stupidity, the main factor that caused the unforgettable tragedy, irrevocably moved into forgotten past. My own concept of the nuclear plan presented in a form of a sphere model consists of two separated energy blocks powered by reactors. To provide the largest security as is possible, I decided to apply the latest type of a reactor that still occurs in the form of a prototype. APR 1600 made by the company Arriva, ipso facto giving up with the outdated but still useful pressurized water reactor. Initially, Jean Novit's atomic plant was supposed to be divided into four different blocks. However, very modern reactor APR 1600 doesn't need so large investment circulation. It is easier to imagine its power in a simple example. One reactor APR 1600 generates the unparalleled power of 1600 megawatts the same as it was supposed to be generated by four single, fully independent and never installed PWR reactors from the times of the Soviet Union. There is a list of other factors that affect my decision. Some of them might be the ability to maximally reduce the construction time and extend the operating one into so far unusual 60 years. Predictable unit costs of the produced energy in the APR reactors will be 10% lower comparing to the latest nuclear plants 
and 20% lower comparing to the cost of energy production in totally reconstructed and biggest gas energy plants. In the safety scope of APRs, a reactor, the attention is called by the reactor housing, made of two reinforced concrete layers, thick on 1.3 meters each, with standing a different impact on the Phantom F4 military fighter flying with a high speed. Massive construction of the reactor building secures the environment around the plant from the consequences of dangerous events occurring inside the block, creating a real threat of the escape of highly radioactive material. It's built in the form of a cylinder, with an external surface made of reinforced concrete and separated from it using another concrete layer lined with a special plate. Because of its features, experts call it containment. Every single block has two separate diesel aggregates against the possible disconnection of an external source of electricity, reinforcing the main office buildings and control devices. Arrangement of the aggregates in two separate buildings create an extra protection against the potential damage of one of them. In the safety equipment buildings, are located injection and power emergency systems as well as the auxiliary gear. For the reason of safety, four technological nodes responsible for the systems were spread into separate buildings, where is also located the main pilot house. The auxiliary buildings acts as a workshop to test the water and air quality samples collected from the area under the supervision of radiological control. The petrol buildings are seated in the same foundation platform as the reactor construction and the measurement apparatus blocks. Uh, inside there are located a fresh petrol magazine and a pool used for cooling already burned full elements. So-called waste building is used to collect storage and pre-shaping liquid and solid radioactive litter. In the machine building, there are arranged all of the particular devices needed for the correct work process of the turbo generator. Water flowing through the core of reactor reaches a high pressure, about 15 megapascals. In a matter of fact, its structure is prevented from boiling after heating it to the high temperature of 260 Celsius degrees. Hot and extremely radioactive water with these parameters is directed to big amount of thin pipes mounted in two or four steam generators. Up there, water from the second circulation at noticeably lower pressure, about 6 to 7 MPa, bathing the tubes from the inside reaches the temperature of 100 degrees and transforms into pure steam which later on, after the process of separation from the moisture, goes into turbine blades. By that means we can get two independent from each other circulations, primary with water in a high density of ionizing radioactivity, and the second, steam. Upon the buildings, I tried to imitate the most likely environment around reactors including tree spots and targeted areas of grass. We can also distinguish an area of artificial reservoir acting as the main material conditioning the process of gaining energy and securing the area of atomic plant against unpredictable phenomena. Mentioned reservoir has a surface of 35,000 square meters. At the plant site there is also located an extensive network of roads. The main one reserved for workers' cars and one, of course, those prepared for access to particular places using specified line of coaches. As it has been already mentioned, workers need to leave their cars in an extensive parking consisting of 1,000 park lots and get to the area of work by one of the four lines of buses driving all the way down to both reactors. Due to the massive construction of the both reactor blocks, the height of the building smokestacks is 165 meters. As in the case of 155 meters high freezer chimneys, 
It provides 100% efficient range of harmful substances.